This is Alan Danziger, the original van driver. I played Jerry in the 1974 cult classic Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today, uh, I'm going to be interviewing Alan Danziger from the OG Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm already with uh, my shirt on. Hey, hey. <laughs> How are you doing? We're doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Excited to have you on the show. Um, so I was wondering, what are you up to nowadays? Well, mainly quarantining, unfortunately, because there's a spike in you know cases here in uh, in Texas. So at my age, if anything happens, I'm a goner. Right, right. So, well, so I got to take extra precautions and just hang out you know i go walking and uh spend time with my with my son and family and stuff like that but uh and then i uh answer emails and stuff like that people are going to my website which by the way is chainsawjerry.com and they can order you know photos autograph photos and i've got t-shirts and all kinds of stuff that's i think people like yeah i'll and put I'm, the link I'm to the web my shirt right now right that's awesome <laughs> Yeah, I'll put a link to the website in the description if anyone wants to check it out. Most excellent. Awesome. Uh, what was the most fun to see, uh, fun scene to film in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre? What was the most fun scene? To, uh, yeah. To, um, I think for me, it was the gas station scene. You know, are you familiar with that where we pull in? Yeah, of and, course. Uh, and then Jim C. Dow comes out and... Uh, <laughs> We ask can we get some gas? And he says, we got no gas, you know, and we're all incredulous uh, about that. And then as he's coming up to the van, the troll looking guy that's there, you know, comes over to the van and he sloshes all this like soapy water, you know, on the windshield wiper. And during one of the takes, I inadvertently hit the uh, windshield wiper and it <laughs> went off and ended up sloshing all this, uh, soapy water on uh, Jim Seedow's face and he's trying to deliver his lines while soapy water is running down his face and at that point uh, myself and uh, Kirk Bill Vale we just broke up and that was it for the day we just couldn't get it together uh, <laughs> I mean so much so that uh, Toby got so upset that he walked off the set and uh, Kim Kim Hinkle had to had to finish it out so I just had a ball doing that scene. <laughs> right, I can imagine. Um, are you still in touch with some of the cast and crew of the original? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm in touch with Bill Vale, Kirk, you know, pretty much almost on a bi-weekly basis. And I talk to Terry occasionally. Ed Neal, once in a while, you know, we'll, I'll see him at, you know, at a convention or something like that. And um, that, that's mainly it. And Kim Hinkle, I've actually gotten fairly... Uh, friendly with Kim and we've been in touch and have spoken many times. That's great. He wrote the, he wrote the uh, pretty much wrote the movie that Toby directed. That's awesome. Mm. And um, did you see the other Texas Chainsaw Massacre films? I, on and off, I've seen a number of them. Um, I saw the one actually that I, I kind of liked was the, um, the Texas Chainsaw 3D. That oh, came right. A number of years ago. I like that because of, of course, I'm in it, you know, at the very beginning, you know, when mm -hmm. they show the montage. And uh, the funny thing I like to say about that is I got more money for not being in, not being in the movie than I got for being in the movie. Because <laughs> those clips of it and they paid me more than I got to do the original. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's confusing. That's, that's show business. Right. <laughs> and um, what would you say is your... Well, is your favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequel? I guess that's Texas 3D. Yeah, I think I like that. And then I, I like uh, some of it, the one with Jessica Biel. I thought that was a pretty good. Oh, right. The, the second one, I mean, that Toby did, the one with Dennis Hopper. I mean, that was so over the top. That and the one with Matthew McConaughey. I mean, they were just, I mean, that's just, to me, they were just way over. Right, right. Would you say you actually dislike those or are you still, can you still enjoy those? Not really. <laughs> I, 
no, no. I wouldn't say I really enjoyed it. No. Uh, it's so much different from like the the original. It's, it's yeah. crazy. I mean, it's amazing that with all the remakes that they've done, that the original is the one that stands out. I mean, that's I guess the gold standard, you know, for uh, making comparisons. Right. For sure. For sure. So, what's, what's your take? What did you think of the sequels? I re I really like them. I um the third one I actually started I started watching it twice um but I just couldn't get through it because I thought it was really like boring actually uh the uh -huh. first one of course is still the best in my opinion um the second one I also really like because I'm I'm a fan of like 80s cheesy films like Return of the Living Dead and it sort of has that vibe although like compared to the original it's it's sort of like where did this come from right then the fourth one I have not seen yet the one with um uh, Matthew McConaughey. Okay, we have that was playing a, a couple of months ago, almost every day here in in Austin. Oh, really? Yeah, on HBO. I mean, they were playing it every every other day. Right, and the remake I really like. I did not see the prequel to the remake. Um, the beginning, I I think. Uh huh. And Texas 3D, I watched recently for the first time, and I really liked it as well. Uh -huh. A lot of people tend to hate that one. I don't understand why. Yeah, me neither. Plus. What's her name? She's in it and she's beautiful, uh, Alexandra Daddario. All right. <laughs> that's just worth the price of admission just to watch her. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I thought. That's that's even what like people that dislike the film said. It's like, um, oh, the film was awful, awful, but at least we got to see her, you know, for one right. and a half hour. <laughs> well, when did people like in the Netherlands, when was that movie, when were you able to see the original? Is that because it seemed like it was blacklisted or blackballed for where you couldn't see the movie. I'm not sure, honestly. Um, I really, I really can't tell. Okay. I do know that um, a few years back, like 2013, I think, when mm -hmm. Texas Chainsaw 3D came out, there were like DVDs in shops, and in those days, I was like, what, like 10 years old, and and I saw that poster, and I was like terrified of it. Like you see Letterface right. with a chainsaw coming like towards you. I was terrified of that. <laughs> um, so why didn't you do many other movies after the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? What, what was the Why didn't I? Yeah. Well, I never saw myself really as an actor and my background was in social work. So, so after that movie, I, I ended up doing a couple of like extra, you know, parts. I was in Willie Nelson's montage, uh, Honey, uh, I think Honeysuckle Rose. There's, there's a montage and I think I'm in the background. And then I, I did shoot a couple of scenes for uh, a fellow, an act, uh, a director named Eagle Pinnell. And that turned out to be, I think the, the whole shooting match or last night at the Alamo. And they did a couple of vignettes and they ended up going with a, a different way. So, you know, it was just, it was just, I guess, a, more of a fluke having done that movie. I didn't right. nobody realized that would, it would turn out the way it was you know so that was really it for me other than the first movie that i did i don't know if you've ever seen that called eggshells that's how i got into chainsaw no i did not but i did see it on your uh, imdb page and i think you can google it now the movie that was toby's yeah toby's first movie was eggshells and i guess they liked the parts that i did it was what they called cinema verite where there are no lines or whatnot they just say we're coming to your house, we're gonna film some stuff. And they just shot it. And I guess they liked what I did because they kept adding scenes for me to be in. And then when they wrote Chainsaw, I guess about four years later, they actually came to me and gave me the script and said, Alan, we'd like you to play the part of Jerry. So that's that's what happened. That's awesome. And um, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre had a lot of controversy upon its release. Um, how did your friends and family react to it, like knowing you were in it? Um, well, my son at the time was about four or five years old, and I did take him to see the um, the previews, the trailer, you know, where he just see his dad in the movie, and that's like 45 years ago, and he's still in therapy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then actually my parents... <laughs> did see it and they were retired in Florida 
and um, they saw it at a porno theater <laughs> in, in Florida. It was like a double bill, and the second bill was Debbie Does Dialysis. I don't know if you get that, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, at my demise, uh, during my at my death scene, you know, uh, my mom, who's not really, I was first generation, she's from a different uh, country, she got up and in her native dialect started to scream for me not to go into the house, you know, thinking that it's right. not going to be a good thing for me. And so when they went home, they ended up calling me to make sure that I was still alive. <laughs> well, that's very sweet of them. Yeah, very sweet. Very sweet. So, um, would you return in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie? What's that? Would you return for uh, another? Return? They'd have to come up with a scene for a much older gentleman. Right. You know, I don't know what that what that would be like. You know, maybe some, you know, working in a in a department store. You know, some where there's a part for a geezer, you know? Yeah, like a little cameo. I think that would be yeah, a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah. I think, what's his name? Uh, Grandpa, John Dugan, is in a couple of different movies. And when that movie was made, he was only 19. And oh, so maybe really? you never see him and right. he doesn't say anything. So sure, he can come back. Exactly. You know, <laughs> the shot that I took to the head, you know, that's it was over for me. Right, right. It would be confusing as... Then you get smashed by a hammer. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to add to the interview? No, just hope that uh, that people still enjoy it. I'm, you know, I'm still glad that I'm still vertical, and and I'm amazed that you know when I go to these conventions, um, how how uh, gracious people are, you know, to me, and how happy they are, you know, to see me that I'm still alive. And uh, like again, if people go, if they're interested in getting any the paraphernalia that we have, they can go to the website. And I'm really uh, glad that you took time and wanted to uh, uh, talk to me all the way from across the, the pond, as they all say. All the way in Ireland. <laughs> yeah. I think it's about as hot air, air, like with the heat wave going on, as, as it was while shooting uh, in Texas back it's in- hotter. Uh, I mean, here today, like today it's like 90, but when we shot the movie, it was like 100 degrees. We were in a van un with no air conditioning, you got a cameraman, you got lights. I mean, it was, it was beyond hot. It was beyond. Uh, right. I, uh, I can't complain, honestly, compared to that. <laughs> oh, you look great there. Thank you. So, Thanks um, a lot and I uh, uh, hope to talk to you again. For sure. Thank you for your time. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> You're pissing me off, Roger. <laughs>